you go on into rapport with the person. Someone's got a motorbike. My friend Harpal works, he does that, goes on a gym as well. He's uh, one of his, he's never spoken to his manager until one day he pulled up in his motorbike. I said, you got a motorbike as well? I've got one as well. And suddenly, conversation, boom. That's rapport. Get something in common. So you know when you're working, you're getting used to or getting to know all your customers. Once you know your customers, they won't harm you. They'll protect you, if anything. Hopefully, <laughs> they'll protect you. So rapport, very, very important. A person feels they can trust another, they'll be more willing to listen to them. There's a guy by the name of Milton Erickson. You can look him up on Google, hypnotist, 80 years he did it. And he was so good at it. And he says he could talk to you and put you into a trance like that. And because he knew there's technical ways, he knew ways of getting rapport. And he says once you have rapport with someone, you can, if you want, get them to do pretty much anything because you've got rapport with them. Yeah, you can get them to do anything. That's the power of, again, that's, that's hypnosis we're talking about here. He's a hypnotist. So he used to change people. And I'll tell you a little story of when, um, the one time, psychologists and hypnotherapists don't get on. Two psychologists brought their child, seven-year-old child, to him. And they says, uh, we can't get him to stop sucking his thumb. And he says, OK, right. So what do you want me to do? Hypnotise my son. All right, OK. So they brought the son. They brought the son to him. And he says to the son, he says, right, now, your parents want me to hypnotise you so that you stop sucking your thumb. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know why you're here? Yes. OK. But you know what? I'm not going to listen to them. What I'm going to say to you is this. Seven-year-old boys, I believe, should be allowed to suck their thumb as much as they can. The parents are going, what the hell's going on here? We brought this guy, he's not helping us. I said, yeah, yeah, he's right, he's allowed to, and I agree with him. He should be doing it. The parents are going, what the hell's going on here? But you know what? But if you were an eight-year-old young man, oh, no. Eight-year-old young men never suck their thumbs. So what I want you to do is go away and just carry on doing it and leave your parents. Two weeks later, he was eight years old. Guess what happened? He stopped sucking his thumb. So the power of rapport, again, you know, it's an indirect way that he used there. Uh, you can use rapport. That's, an, that's a, uh, a therapeutic version of using rapport.